Father Bob Stokig here, Rector of the Guardian Angel Cathedral in Las Vegas, Nevada, coming to you with another one of our reflections about the weekly readings. This for Sunday, October 9th, which is the 28th Sunday in Ordinary Time. You might wonder, because both the first reading and the gospel deal with leprosy. Part of what's at issue in the healing story of Jesus in the gospel this week as well as referenced in the first reading, is how the Jewish people in Jesus' day dealt with disease, particularly disease where there would be something coming out of the body, in the case of leprosy, sores that might be oozing. All those kinds of diseases were thought by the Jewish people to be a cause of uncleanliness uncleanliness for worship. And so those people were excluded from the community. Now in the healing story of the lepers in the gospel, Jesus remarks it, how isn't it strange that it's only the one who isn't part of the Jewish people that he is a part of. The only one who is not a part of them is the one who comes back to give thanks. It's a Samaritan. Remember, the Samaritans are always in the gospel seen as outsiders. So when Jesus interacts with them, he is seen to be crossing boundaries. It's this Samaritan who can't keep quiet that Jesus has been his source of healing. How often are we surprised by the way in which God's healing moves maybe even for people we don't recognize as fellow believers, and yet they have some experience of healing that can't be explained, whether that's physical, emotional, or spiritual. That's a cause for us to give thanks to, not to look askance because they weren't part of our group on the journey, but to remember that God's compassion and healing and mercy are all so wide that they encompass far more than we can ask or imagine. If you've had that experience of some kind of healing in your life, the readings this week prompt you and all of us to pause and be grateful. If you're praying for somebody in search of that healing, they prompt us to remember that Christ the healer, particularly as Luke's gospel tells the story, is with us on that journey. As we continue with Jesus on the journey to Jerusalem, his ultimate act of healing the separation in the human family by his cross and resurrection, we're reminded we're all together on the journey, whether we're in the midst of seeking healing, giving thanks for healing that's already happened, or interceding for someone else whom we know is in need of that healing. Wherever you are on that spectrum as you watch this video, we want you to know that we keep you and your families in our prayers as we gather here for the celebration of the liturgy. We invite you to keep the cathedral community in Las Vegas in your prayers as well until the day comes when you might be able to join us live for worship here at the Guardian Angel Cathedral in Las Vegas.